guys and welcome to YouTube. Uh, this is my new channel so I thought I'd put my a new video up on here. Um, Binding of Isaac Rebirth. It's a new game. Came out uh, probably a couple of weeks ago now. Which follows on from the original Binding of Isaac. And that had an add on Wrath of Lan. So let's get into it. I've played it a couple of times so far. Uh, so as you can see you've got Foul 2. So I've done it I think three times. That's Killing Satan. So if we carry on from that one. And let's do a new one and try and give it a game. So I wouldn't say I'm the best at this game, but I can do pretty well. So curse the unknowns. I'm not sure what the different all the different things are. But I know that I need to kill these creatures by firing tears at them. Oh and they blow up as well. Fun. Oh no. Oh cool. And it appears that if I blow I'll blow these things up, these uh, pots or whatever, it'll give me things. I don't know what death does. Uh, I think I can, what if I blow up that? Oh, so that you can get, you can get uh, blocks in this game which will give you uh, soul hearts or additional things. So let's use my tarot card. Oh, and it kills everything in the room which is pretty cool. And I've got a pill and what does this do? Oh, explosive damage. But as you can see, it blew up one of the pots, and now I've got another soul heart. And I've got a key as well. So on the left, we have the boss room. And in the boss room, there's a boss, basically. And we just need to kill them to get onto the next level. And if you also notice, if you look on the top left of my screen, you'll see my coins and things like that, my keys and book bombs. But usually you'll have hearts up there as well. And those hearts indicate how much life you're on. So I think Curse of the Unknown is um, you can't see those cards. So I can, I think I'll buy a soul heart, which is pretty cool. And there's a donation one, so I'll put a donation in there. And what I can do with that is I can blow it up and um, it'll give me a bit of money back. And with these five, blowing them up can give you additional things as well. So, we have, I think we've got maybe have a couple of rooms left. Oh, okay. Come on, kill the worm. Okay, so we've got one of the spiders down. And this worm is annoying me. There we go, sorted. So now we are in the item room, and in the item room, you can get different items basically. So this one puts blood on the floor, and if um, a creature goes on the blood, they'll take a bit of damage. And the room on my right will take off half my hearts, and sometimes you can get nice items in it. I, th I think there's a bug, there's a glitch at the moment where you can get infinite items. So you can get all sorts of things in these rooms. And in this case, we've got half a heart, ah. which is pretty useless, considering both of my hearts are um, soul hearts. Now, I think the reason we're slowing down is because, oh yes, because we walked into a spider web. And now let's take on the boss. So this boss isn't too hard, but he's a bit annoying, ah. because he just attacks you from everywhere. Okay. He's got a little bomb thing and he's jumping from side to side and firing bullets and things like that. I think we're doing pretty well with this actually. Aha, and so we killed him. So unfortunately we didn't get any demon rooms this time or god rooms. And what they do, they all give you more items as well. So what do we have here? Speedball, so we have faster shots and we move faster. Pretty cool. So now we've gone down to the next level and you see there's a little clock there and that's a ghost mechanic behind the game which is when you get to the main boss at the end you'll get something out of it. And if you've noticed, Cursey Unknown is now gone and we can see our hearts in the top left. 
Oh, I don't like these guys. Okay, so we killed one. There's another one. Oh, we got hit there. So you notice we got hit for half a heart. And then we've got this red one. Now, I think he'll five tears out. Oh, no, he drops a heart. So it's not, not too bad. And do we have any keys? No, so we can't get into the item room. Now, usually with the um, fly, if you go to the top of the top of the uh, what do you call it? Top of the room, um, they can't get you. And there's a boss called Lord of the Flies, which kind of negates that. But it's a pretty nice way to kill a bunch of flies without taking many hits. Now these flies here, they fire tears at you, but you can get item drops from them. Yeah. I'm not going to risk it anymore. Okay, and next room, so we've got these overpowered spiders. Oh really, we need a heart, otherwise we're going to die. So we've only got half a heart left. I don't think we're gonna make it. Oh, we've got a key so we can get into the item room. And maybe we'll find something nice in there. Uh, so it's all the way down here, I believe. So here's the heart we had from earlier, so we can get that. Go into the item room and splash damage. Oh, so that's pretty cool. So when it lands, I think it shortens down, shortens your range. But when it lands, it fires more tears out of it, do more damage. I suppose that's not too bad. So we we saw the boss from all the way back there, and now we can bench around everywhere else. So here we have a gold chest, so that can have nearly end through it. So I'm using bombs to get rid of the blocks and then I'm gonna wreak whatever's inside. So in that case we add um, a bunch of coins. Now I think there's a... no, oh, no, We can't go in there because we don't have full health. I didn't want to die then. So let's try and take on this... take on this boss. Oh, Larry, eh, not too bad. It's actually bad. Uh, I, I'd say it's a pretty easy boss. You just need to make sure you don't get hit. No, in that case, we got hit. nearly got him, so we've got one of them, and then we've got the other one. So we get the hearts, get up to a bit of health, and what does this do? Oh, a little bag. So we have more range, which is good, and we can fire more shots. So that's pretty cool, so it's kind of like a um, minigun, effectively. So we're now going on to floor three. I don't think we're going to do the ghost mechanic thing. Fear that doesn't matter. We've got two and a half hearts. Let's risk it. Oh, and in here, what? No. Okay, so this is the demon room, and in the demon room, you can get different items. So in this case, we've got two soul hearts. Now we've got these things. I'm not sure. I think the this one gives us flying. I'm not sure about this one. So I'm going to go with that one. Curse up. Not sure what that does. And then you can see blowing up the fire over there. Gave us a um well I think I think we sped up. Gave us a coin which we can use to buy things. And this one, oh troll bombs. Don't like that. Ah. Okay, so what do we have up here? Oh, so this guy, you can give him money and he'd um he will give you an item at the end of it. 
think it can be a coin or a coin up to anything. Unfortunately, I don't have any bombs, so I can't blow up these blocks and make a pathway over. Uh, oh, I don't like these guys. Okay, that was not very difficult, but as soon as you get hit by one of them, you're, you're not dead, but you're in trouble, really. And that was a nice kill with the spider. And on here, you, I'd only be able to get that key if I had um, flying. So maybe it would have been better to get the other demon item. Uh, or do we have a cursed room thing called? Okay, now these ones have stupid lasers that blow up. Oh, no, they don't. No, oh, they're the worm ones. So they, they fire worms. Sometimes they have there's lasers, which are a lot more annoying. Oh come on, just stop for shooting! There we go, and we killed them all, and we got a coin. What's down here? Oh, the, now these guys blow up. So that's a nice kill on me. Uh, what do we have over here? Oh, I don't like these guys. Come on, die, die. And then we, oh, and we've got two bombs. Uh, what do we have here? A whole bit of spiders. And then we've got a spider over here shooting stuff. Oh! <coughs> That was pretty cool, but unfortunately we died. Uh, so until next time, and where we'll we will try again or we'll do a different game. But I hope you enjoyed this little playthrough. It gives you a good idea of the game, and maybe you'll go out and buy it. So until next time, and have a nice day.